are just amazing that goes on in our industry, things that get done. Um, again, Gary's rules of roofing is you, you've got to have standards and you've got to have training that the people that understand and know the standards and know how to do them. Here's, here's another mistake that we weren't even uh, counting on. We've got a uh, flashing here that is actually the flashing for the um, brick pocket. It's a brick pocket flashing that goes in the wall to bring the water out around the brick pocket. Now, you've got a combination of things going on here. Um, and yeah, when you look at it, it looks real stupid, but these are the kind of things that we're seeing every day in the industry. You've got a turn back flashing uh, that captures the water in this little gutter system. That's one issue on its own. But by capturing all the water during a heavy rain that comes off of this wall, you can see this is a very large wall. And what happens is that water sheets down the wall, gets in this little gutter system that runs underneath the shingles, then it hits this wall. Then they dump it out on this L flashing. When it dumps out on the L flashing, this was over one shingle here, but it's when it water builds up, the water was just running off, and that's what's created the hole in the decking here. Uh, the asphalt underlayment finally gave way, and so now you end up with this rotted area. Uh, and it's inevitable that you were going to get some leaking no matter what because you've got areas of the turnback flashing that are just smashed. Now let me show you what a turnback flashing is. And this is, this is a lot of fun, this turnback flashing. Uh, you know, you, you, you talk about standards, there's a lot of things that has to be thought about. Where are you going to buy it? I bought this at one of the big box stores. And of course, what they do is they compete on price. It's all price driven in the big box stores. Quality means nothing in the big box stores. This is a basic piece of junk. If it were aluminum, uh, we measure that in .032 or .028. Uh, we would call this O2 thin. It's just ridiculously thin sheet metal. And of course it's actually uh, sheet metal. And I'm not sure of the gauge of it. But it's so thin that getting here was a problem. Fact is, in the store, this, they only had two pieces today. And that's another problem with shopping at the big box stores. You never know what they're going to have. This one was already bent in this location, which has already got a pinhole in it right here. Now, as metal expands and contracts, that pinhole is going to become more of a leak. And I will bet that most contractors have to uh, stop and pick it up. They got a crew waiting on them. Uh, and they go out there with something like this. That wouldn't get addressed. It would just be put in that way and eventually could be leak. Now the problem that I have with a turn back flashing is that the way it works is the shingles go right over it like that. And then they put a nail in here, hopefully no nails in the turn back flashing. So that's actually what we have along this wall here. What it really is, is a gutter system. It's breaking one of my rules, Gary's rules of roofing, by running water underneath the shingles from the top all the way down to the bottom more than 17 feet on this run. A wall that sheets water, this is the direction the rains come in at this area, so there's no telling us how many gallons of water during a heavy rain is trying to run in this. That's why they're outlawing it in uh, the, the states along the coast and the cities along the coast where they have uh, massive rains on a regular basis. And then you've got one other problem. You've got this flashing sticking out here, which you can see on the, the real one on the house. And when the painter is reaching up to caulk, he's also stepping down on this. So when they step on this little turnback place, it just bends it flat. Now you don't have a turnback flashing, you just have an L flashing, like the flashing below that's already leaking. Turnback flashing is installed because it's fast, it comes in 10 foot lengths, you slap it in, it's cheap. Unfortunately, it's like the Yugo doesn't last.